Hi friends. It's an unboxing day. I'm really excited. Big old box. <laughs> uh, here. Oh gosh, this light is like so unstable. Here's a Hobonichi Weeks for scale. Um, it's like, yeah, it's pretty big. So the deal is, this is from Colt Pins in the UK, England specifically. And um, they have free shipping over a certain threshold. And who wants to pay for shipping? Not me. So I reached out to some local folks and said, hey, yo. Anybody want to in on this order? And um, several people said yes. So I had it all shipped here. <laughs> and Feels like an obscene amount of stuff. So that was the box, and inside the box were more boxes. Now I'm also seeing, I don't see a packing slip on the outside. So somewhere in here, there's probably a packing slip, which I will check things off against. I gotta put that in the thing. Um, there's been a kind of a like, a bunch of discussions around unboxing videos and are they good or bad or whatever. Normally, I try not to do at least a Vinx like straight unboxing. I like to do swatching as well, but I think there's so much here that I won't be able to swatch. Now, I I am going to unbox it all, but I want it to be clear. Not all of this is for me. Though I do think at least half of it is. Um so, okay, is this the thing? Oh, that's right. They sent me, they send you a little um, cute little face clip. Um, I was thinking, which is adorable. Come off of here, though. Come on. Why are you? Um, my partner's in the next room playing um, games. So if you hear something, it's that. Yeah, so my... My, my thing here is like more than a page. <laughs> Sweat smile emoji. Um, also, I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and there's this brief moment where one of the people starts speaking in emoji and I am there for it. So I'm gonna, this might be slow because I'm gonna be crossing things off. If you've never done like actual unpacking somewhere, you may not know this method, but it's a good idea whenever you get a packing slip, like check the stuff, is it actually here, right? So we have Diamine Brandy Snap. If you're guessing that's not for me, you're right. Let's see, where are you? I wonder if it puts it in the order I added it to my thing. Here it is. Um, I'm going to use a different pen. This is a new pen. I didn't really, I made a video. We'll see if I post it publicly. It's private right now. Uh, I love it. Oh wait, I can't do it with red. Red's the color they use. We'll do it with this. Um, so Diamine Brandy Snap. It's an ink vent from the red ink vent. Then we have from the blue ink vent, Diamine Blue Peppermint. Um, where are you? I mean, I know I ordered that. Here it is. Then we have Diamine Inkment Green Yule Log. What I like is that's one of each of the ink vents it's available so that's pleasing then we have a sailor converter 
that's for me. Or thingy. Sailor standard converter. Then we, oops, I just hit something. Then I have the Sailor Hakuro. This is for me too. I got this with the Fude nib. Maybe if we have time, we'll test that out, okay? I'm not gonna tell you everything that's for me, probably. Maybe. We have two of these um, wearing ghoul swatch binder things. Uh, those look really cool. And a couple of thingies. Ah, here we have Cult Pins Exclusive from Diamine, Muddy Puddle. It's got a great name, doesn't it? Um, I think it does. Muddy Puddle. Let's put that in here so we don't keep all this stuff together. Then we have over here. Um, I think this is, in, this looks like another Colt Pins exclusive from the same line. And this one is Murky Bucket. Murky Bucket. Murky Bucket and Muddy Puddle. Those are from their Autumn Tones Shimmer Inks collection. Colt Pins and Diamine. That's hardly anything, right? This must be efficiently packed. Um, so how y'all been? You ever do a big old group buy like this? Organized it? <laughs> y'all, this is obscene. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wish all these were mine. Look at how pleasing this is. <laughs> Look at how many bottles of Diamond Ink are in here. <laughs> I did think, maybe I should just order one of each. Then I, then I stopped myself and said no. But Diamond Inks are incredibly low priced at, uh, at Colt Pins, even with the currency rate not being great for US dollars. So here we have a Kobe ink. This is number 30. So Kobe number 30, which is OG Cherry. Then we have Wearing Ghoul, Floating Cloud. Um, and here we have a Sailor Shikiori Sakura, Sakura Mori. Um, now, that leaves us Twenty nine bottles of diamond ink. <laughs> All right. First up, this is the diamond. Um, which set is this from? I don't remember the name of the set. Anyway, this is Wagner. I mean, one would guess that it's about opera. <laughs> Who knows? So, diamond Wagner. Then we have Diamine. Uh, this is Wonders of the World, the Great Wall of China. And I got another one for that for Machu Picchu. My mom really wants to go there. I mean, it would be dope. I'd like it too, but that's like a dream of hers. Here's one called A Toe in the Ocean. Um, Let's see, where are you? Here it is. This is um, 
a summer set, a toe in the ocean. Then we have a jug of sangria, also from that summer set. Who doesn't want a jug of sangria while they have a toe in the ocean, right? Um, Chichen Itza, that's in Mexico. I think in like the Yucatan Peninsula, could be wrong. I wound up there frequently in GeoGuessr. Here is Gray Skies No More. This is the summer ink from Diamine. I am here to say I have spent summer in the UK and that's a lie. They have gray skies all the time. Blue seems to be the anomaly, just saying. Here is Havasu Turquoise, just a standard one of theirs. Uh, here we are. And Eau de Nil. Do you think that's water of the Nile? Ah, hold on, we're coming back to that. Here is Claret. I almost bought a bottle of that. Uh, you know, the wine at the store. This one is Classic Green. And now we have a collection that they have, a new collection that is Seven Deadly Sins. So there's two bottles of Wrath. Um, I'll be honest, I got one of each because I, I just wanted the, to have the whole collection, even though some of the colors aren't for me. I'm pretty sure there's two bottles of this one, yeah. Pride. It's purple. Then there is Greed. Where did you go? Envy and Lust. Gluttony and Sloth. <clears throat> Pink. Uh, gruntled guava. So this is a whole fresh fruit collection. We got, oops, we got a bunch of these from um, Ink Journal one year. So gruntled guava. Bashful blueberry. I remember that being a bit of a kind of a periwinkle but light. Wistful watermelon. I kind of felt like they took the alliteration a bit far with this, to be honest, in my opinion. Bored banana. I have to say it that way. Disdainful damson and sultry strawberry. I looked up damson. It's absolutely not this color. So I'm not sure what that color is based on. Also, is it killing you that this label is put on the other way? Me? Yes, a little. And here we have two bottles of Merlot. Mm. I'm going to be honest. I would take two bottles of actual, actual Merlot. So that's my big old haul <laughs> from Colt Pens. Again, not all mine. But how often do you get to like unload this much ink? Almost never. So, but we're gonna look at this Sailor Hakoro because we have some time. I didn't like the color of it because like that is not my, okay. Although if you look at my nail polish, it looks like that is my color. This nail polish changes color based on the angle of the camera, the camera, the light, which is like, so I keep looking at my fingers today when I'm typing. <laughs> totally getting all work done. What are, you, what are you for? Oh, this is just thingy. So I love this about it is that um, that, that hides in there. I got the food A. I'm hoping this will be a replacement for... Um, my glass pen. So 
So we'll swatch one of these. Uh, I don't remember exactly which of these I got because like the problem is people have really great ideas. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, do I want that too? But I do know that I got all of these. So we'll open it up. Is this, this is a shimmer. Is one of them not shimmer or are they all shimmer? They might all be shimmer. see. Maria, you're taking too long. Everybody hates you right now. Don't say that. I've lost them all. Where'd they go? Okay, sloth doesn't look like it has shimmer. So we're going to check out sloth. How funny that I picked sloth after doing a bunch of work just then. Right? How, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? A little too ironic. So this is, we'll do it with my normal writing angle. Okay, that is obnoxious. I love it. We'll do a high writing angle. Um, the middle. I'm just scribbling this dry now. Look at how much ink it put in here though. That's cool, it's a lot of ink. So, coming soon, some swatching videos for me. I normally do all my swatching in one video. Holy cow, this is a lot of ink. But I think I may break mine up into some sections because I think I, I got enough like I'll do one that's just the seven deadly sins and you know we'll we'll parcel them out so that I'm not like just I don't like prematurely blew myself what I don't even know look I'm sorry so here's that it's thick on here and then this is um sloth it's a really nice blue like a a dark, almost purpley leaning, and it kind of looks like it has a lot of red sheen, but but maybe not as I was as much as I was expecting. Of all the colors, this is the one that's no surprise that I picked, right? The blue. At any rate, I'm I'm I I'm mostly pleased with this. I've got to find a writing angle to where I can write the, um, not have too much ink and just write the names of the things. What? The company name on my swatch cards. Okay. So thanks for hanging out for this video of commercialism. Is that even a word? I think it is. Uh, I am gonna have to consult our message thread and see which of these is actually mine because I know and I know none of these are for me <laughs> but I do know wait okay that is the same way I do know I'm a sloth <laughs> I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a wonderful day take care of yourselves bye